Okay, let's start. I used them a little so far. Alright. Um, we have not done boss rush, boss rush with this character yet. So, as you can see that little star, that little star at the top left hand corner. That means that you have completed the boss rush with a certain character. Let's see if we can do boss rush with Magdalene. Magdalene starts with four hearts and an item that you can heal yourself, but she is quite slow. Don't know what this item does, to can be honest. Oh, it's one I recently unlocked, so I don't know what it does. Let's see. <coughs> Oh. Movement speed sucks on this character. It make dodging a bit difficult. Let's go have a peek in the room. Okay, obviously we want to try to get five coins in this room to get us that item. Oh, okay. However, before I go buy that heart, I first want to kill this boss because I don't want to take any solo heart damage on this run because you'll see if I do lose health, I can recharge health by activating my spacebar item. Okay, so this guy Always break poop because it sometimes has money or an item called petrified or a trinket called petrified poop which increases the chances of getting something out of poop and these guys are not very friendly they've got some bad movement speed on them and they leave this trace of blood they have to dodge just gotta be patient Stress too much. Okay, now it's gonna be much easier. And as you see, there are two damage. This is a good item, it's gonna give me a range and a damage up. I think it's called Jesus Juice. Yep. Right, let's go get our soul heart. Good. All right. <clears throat> As you can see, the bottom left of my stats, the bottom left of my stats indicates 0%, 0%. The top one is for a devil deal and the bottom one is for an agile deal. It's currently at 0% because we're on the first floor, going down to the second floor. We're going to have to move to try and get Boshras. Boshras happens when you kill mom under 20 minutes. Don't have any keys, can't go in there. Don't ask what this is, I'll explain it some other time. This is the sacrifice room. Gotta be careful of that poop over there with a the fly. And when we kill the spider, it's gonna spawn two other spiders with it. And this is what we call the sacrifice room. I don't want to go into it now because I don't want to take any damage, solo damage. As you can see, my devil deal chance over there is at 100%. So which means if we don't take any damage this floor after killing the boss or any red heart damage, if we don't take any red heart damage, then we'll get a devil deal, 100% chance. like a key right now. Mm. Key would be great. Mm. Yeah.
careful of these guys. They rush you. He would be really great. I don't know if we're going to be able to go into the item room this floor. And hopefully we're going to get our devil here. Key. Yes, please. Let's go back to the item room quickly. Shop wouldn't have been a bad option either, but I don't know if there's a soul heart in there, so... Oof, this is the D20 I think. The D8. Uh, as you can see my... Uh. Mm. I've never used the D8. So I don't know what it's gonna do. I don't know if it's gonna reroll our stats now. I'm too scared to try, let's see. And we got a huge damage up. And our tier rates went down, but this is gonna help for the boss fight, let's see. There's a tinted rock over there. I'm actually gonna try to time this. Gonna help us secure that devil deal. I wonder if the, I don't know if the, the stats for the D8 is permanent. But our damage is really looking good now. Our tier rate not so much, but that can always increase. Damage wise we are doing good. We've got our devil deal, damage gonna go up again for this. And some movement speed. And on top is obviously the devil room as we promised. So let's go in and have a look. Uh, okay. Spectral tears, the Ouija board, and that is a sacrificial altar. Sacrificial altar, sacrifice two of your items and spawns. Uh, and spawns two items as a replacement to them, but I don't want to take that chance now. We've got great damage. Our tier rate sucks though. Spectral tears, why not? Spectral tears means that we can shoot past rocks like that. Okay, on to the next floor. If you go into this room, <clears throat> this one, there ought to be a chest, either a red chest, a brown chest, or a yellow chest. Yellow chest, we'll need a key to open. Sometimes there can be items in there. Red chest, you can get sometimes devil items, and a brown chest will usually have money and keys in. Let's go have a look. But as soon as you open the chest, there's going to be three waves of enemies that spawn. Uh, I've only got one key. I need one for the item room. Let's have a game there. Oh, great. Damage up. We are dealing serious damage now. Damage, as you can see on the left hand side, is at 14. We started with 3.5, we are already at 14. As mentioned, three waves. This one being the third, and we're done. Key. Yes, please, we got our key back. Okay. We are doing some great damage right now. Not always a winner, if your tier rate's not good enough, but not bad, we've got another key, wonderful. Another key. Gotta be careful with these guys. Movement speed is a bit shit. Be careful of these guys. Wonderful. Sacrifice 
sack room to the top. Not the sack room, sorry, the curse room. I don't want to go in there because as soon as you go in the curse room, it takes one of your hearts. Uh, freeze mom's, mom's contact, I think. It freezes enemies. Nope, it's eyes at the back of your head, which means we can fire the back of our head now and then. She sucks. These guys suck, stay out of their range. Don't know how I dodged that. Oh my god, this room sucks. Definitely gonna go in there, see if we can't get another soul heart. And we do get another soul heart, great. If I blow one of these guys up, you'll see my chance for a devil deal or an, an angel deal increases and we open the secret room. That was by chance. And we get two keys. There we go. Ten minutes. Don't know if we're going to make boss rush. Let's see. I'm feeling too confident. Yep. The fact <laughs> we are doing some great damage and we got some health. I thought we we're going to make boss rush, but let's see. Watch out, these things fire. This room sucks. Careful, this guy. Movement, spe uh, movement speed not looking great. The screen fly suck as well. The damage is looking so good. Got enough keys. A holy chest, holy chest has a chance to give you an angel item, but I'm never that lucky. Let's check. Got my key back, it ought to respawn. Mm, nope. And that, that's all we got. Move on. This room sucks. The glasses item is going to give us 20-20, we're going to shoot two tiers at once, great item, this one. Some great damage. Movement speed wise, a bit. Oof, and we are rolling in the dough currently. Let's see if we can get a soul heart. No. What we're gonna pick up now is what we call black candle. It's gonna make you immune to all curses. And let's donate it to you. And one more. Let's increase our devil deal chance by blowing this guy up and we get two coins.
Cheers up, Devil Deer. Ooh. I really like this item. It's gonna spawn. You'll see. These little guys that do you some damage. Don't know if we're gonna make a boss rush. Eight minutes left. Let's have a look. Oh, great, great card. The card gives you homing uh, just for one one uh, room. It gives you homing homing tiers. And then this is the item I spoke of earlier, Petrified Poop, which means that your chances of getting items out of poop is better. Oh, quite good. Finish those guys quite quickly. As you can see, this guy is firing some flies. A lot of people don't like this item because sometimes they can damage you. Gotta be careful. We are doing some great damage. Also, always shoot at the fires, the chances of spawning coins are quite good. Item room. Let's see what we got. I usually don't pick up any pills or I don't usually take pills unless you get an item called PhD which gives you only good pills. Pills can be crap sometimes. Let's see. Ooh. All right. So what this item does, it can either, it can either make your run extremely good or extremely bad. Um, it's, it's called almond milk. It's almost the same as soy milk. It takes your damage extremely, extremely way down, but it increases your tear rate that it almost fires like a machine gun, but your, your damage goes down ex extremely low. I don't know if I'm gonna pick this up or not. Um, I think I'm gonna give it a skip. I'm gonna give it a skip. If we could re-roll it, that would've been cool, but not possible. Some sucks. That orbital is helping me. It's obviously that leprosy item I picked up. If you blow these things up, these blue fires, they sometimes give you soul hearts. Like that. Let's see if we can get another soul heart. No, we do not. Let's increase our chances for a devil deal by blowing this guy up. And we even get five cents. Uh-huh. Alright. What is our time looking at? Five minutes. Let's put some of in the donation machine. Okay. We gotta move. We gotta move. We gotta do boss rush. Needles are gonna spawn. Oh no, no. We have to push the button. Petrified poop ought to give us something. It does give us some coins. Oh, I hate this guy. Monster 2. Not the easiest of bosses. He sucks. Oi. As you can see, he's pretty quick. He's a, oi, oi, oi. And we got him. No devil deal, but an HP up. Alright, let's go. That magician card for Bosch Rush is going to help if we do make Bosch Rush. Let's quickly see how fast we can get to piercing tears. Piercing shots. Okay. Let's see how fast we can get to Mom. Some sucks. Ow. Uh -uh. We gotta move, we gotta move, we gotta move. Let's go have a peek in the arcade room. Don't know what that trinket does, I've seen it many times. I'm not gonna play any of these things. Hopefully we can get to the shop. Nope, walked into a dead end. This room sucks. 
our damage is pulling us through heavier. I haven't really rolled a D8 again, but I'm scared. I'm scared it takes away this great damage we've got. Another dead end. But with the damage, we ought to be alright. Give me a shot. Nope. Be careful of these guys. Damage pulls us through again. Hey. Give me a shot, please. And maybe shot. Got three minutes. Come on, come on, come on, come on. We got our shot. Exclusive access. It opens this thing over there, and then you can get some extra items. They are really quite expensive. I'd love that this item, but we don't have enough money, and we're never going to have enough money in this floor for it either. Two minutes. Come on, let's go. Okay, now we've got to kill mom's heart. Oh, we get a soul heart. We ought to kill mom easily because of our damage. Let's see what we can do. As you can see, the foot is red, which means it's a specialized version of mom. Which means she stomps more than those things falling on the side. And we divide it up. And, okay, we made boss rush. Boss rush is to the right-hand side. And we have to choose if you've unlocked the game so far between the Polaroid or the negative. The negative is the white photo and the... No, the Polaroid is the white photo and the negative is the black photo. So if we take the black photo, we can inevitably fight Satan and after that the lamb. And if we choose the negative, we can fight Isaac and then question mark, question mark, question mark. Which is, if you can see the unlockables, currently is the Polaroid and the negative, which I've already unlocked, but we can make a choice now. I'd go for the negative currently. Because I've already shown you a lamb fight. <clears throat> but we need to unlock boss, boss Rush. And we're going to go in the Boss Rush room and hopefully activate our Magician card. Giving us homing tears and then survive it out. So we take the negative, the Polaroid, sorry. And we have to choose between one of these. As soon as we choose one of these shit items that they've given us here it will start spawning 15 waves of enemies, two in a row. I don't know, I can't remember what these things do. I don't know what that one does, I don't know what that one does, I don't know what that one does, I don't know what that one does. I'm worried about this one. Shit. Okay, got to choose carefully here. That's telekinesis, I know what that does, it's a space bar item. Let's just go for it. Okay, one of the worst Worst choices I could have made because it's going to attract oh, Let me activate my, mag my magician card first Let's just survive it quickly Magnetic tears means that it's either going to Attract the enemies towards me or it is going to I think it's gonna, yeah, it's actually not such a bad item. It's gonna attract the, the tears towards them. I hate this guy. Yeah, and it sometimes sucks their, their shots as well into them. is isn't bad. Like that. Hey. As you can see, wonderful. As you can see, the homing tears are really, really doing some great work over here from the magician card that I picked up. Kill all of them. I'm gonna make quick work out of this guy. And those guys. And that guy. I don't know on what wave we're on, but we are doing some great things over here. We're gonna kill this boss right. Dead. Here we go. Whee! Almost spawned into me. You can 
stand, actually stand behind that rock over there because I've got spectral tears like that. That helps me immensely. Hey, careful, careful. I can stand behind the rocks because I've got I picked up Ouija board in one of the devil deals. That magnetic tears isn't actually such a bad choice. Actually quite a, oh my god, this guy. He's gonna die. This guy's just as much of a piece of shit as what he is. And they're gone. We are nailing it. This guy's gonna spawn on top here. Careful, he does that. These guys should be quick work. Oh, that was close. This guy's a piece of shit. And we've got Maggie's bow, I don't know, it's an unlockable, and we've got Bloody Lust, I think, or Lusty Blood, I think it's Bloody Lust. Oh no, it's anemic, okay. I think what that does is when you get uh, damage, it shoots um, blood towards the enemies. Finished boss rush, boss rush, and we're going to the womb. Kindly note, when I took damage in all the floors that we just cleared, it took half a heart of damage from the womb upwards. It takes, if you take damage, it takes an entire heart of damage. Let's go have a peek in here. Oh, wonderful. We we'll get our soul heart, at least. Gotta get used to not having those homing tears anymore. They really help. Careful, careful. It's gone. Okay, all right, thank you. Oh, nice. Right. This guy should be quick work. I'm going to show you a trick about this guy. If he charges you and you plant a bomb in him, that happens. Not going to go into this, the cursory. Okay. These guys are pieces of shit. And you'll see why. They pop and they shoot and they are extremely difficult to hit sometimes. Uh, kindly also note in the womb and floors upwards there are no item rooms. So we are not done getting items. Oh wow. Wheel of fortune. Oh, okay. I as you can see, we took a whole heart of damage. Why, I don't know. You got a soul art back, nice. <clears throat> that little guy, if we had flying, we could have gone to him. And if we want to charge our spaceball item, you pay money and he charges your spaceball item. No reason to explore the rest of this uh, floor because there's nothing much except for enemies who try to fuck you up. No item room, no shop. Sometimes there are arcade rooms. So be careful here. My movement speed is bothering me a bit. I'm struggling to dodge these guys perfectly. Uh, I think that increases your stats temporarily. Let's go see what's in here. Skolix and two of these guys. Nice. Oh, wonderful. That guy, even if you shoot him in the head, doesn't help. You have to shoot his ass. Like that. You shoot his ass. You shoot his ass. Dead. HP upgrade and a devil deal. Let's see. Duality. Duality. Duality, I think, increases your chances or gives you a 50-50 chance to get either a devil or an angel deal. It's an item I've recently unlocked. Uh, let's take it. Let's see what happens. Uh, and as you can see over there, 
it gives you equal chance to get dev devil and angel deals. We're at full health for the time being. Again, no item room, no shop room. So try to get to it lives or in your case mom's heart when you haven't unlocked the game so far as soon as possible. These guys ought to be alright. Nice. Uh, if you hear that noise, mom is gonna try to flip on you like like that. Yeah, that's wonderful. Okay, let's try to go up this time. Those magnetic tears aren't that bad actually. And that little guy that I got the harbinger, harbingers in the devil room, this little guy is helping me as well a lot. I want to go back into that room where... <laughs> oh, wonderful, it happens again. And hopefully it's only one. No, there's a second one. Okay, there we go. Seems we're going to maybe have to go back there. Hopefully not. The red, be careful of the red poops. May you find what you desire. That doesn't count in this room because it's going to usually take you to the item room. Be careful of the red, the red poops, they damage you and they respawn. As you can see there, they respawn after you destroy them. Seems we're going to have to go back into that room. Wonderful. So we ran into a dead end. Great. Huh. Maybe not. Let's see. What we can do, check, check here. That was close. So I want to go back into that room. Oh, <laughs> get into one of these. Okay. Survive that one. We're gonna have to go back there. <sighs> What's this move? <laughs> oh, these guys. Okay, so what I did in the previous room was I, obviously it was difficult to get out of there, but I bombed the door and it gave me access to the other room. Um, I wouldn't necessarily advise doing that because if I have to go back there, it's going to spawn those same enemies again. As you can see on top of my map, it's still dark, it's not cleared. But hopefully we don't need to go back because all of the ends that we've gone to in this map are dead ends. Man, this damage is pulling us through heavy. So this is a vault room. This is a vault room, takes two keys to enter. Usually you get some keys and money. Sometimes some items, usually not always. Keys and money, bombs. Keys and money and bombs. Right. Not like we have much use for them, but it's fine. Trickle charge, I think it slowly recharge, recharges your space bar item, but I like petrified poop more. Something's gonna spawn. Something's gonna spawn. And that little guy over there did some serious damage. Let's go fight, it lives. It's gonna spawn two of these little, not two, four of those eyes. You gotta be careful, try to dodge them. And then you stand either to the right or the left hand side and you just keep firing as much as you can. Magnetic Tears is killing it. And we get... Oh shit, that's what duality actually does. It gives you an angel room and a devil room. Let's go see what's in the angel room. Ah, familiar. Not a bad familiar. It's going to give us an orbital that protects us. There's no need to blow these things up because we've got full health. If we had to place a bomb here and we blew up this angel over here, it's going to spawn one of the angels, which once you kill the angel, it's going to give you a, a key piece and you need to get two key pieces to get to Mega Satan, but we're not doing that this run. We're going to try and go to... And I need to think carefully now, because I said we're going to go to Isaac. 
but we haven't killed Hush yet with this specific character and Hush is an extremely difficult boss with guard armor. Let's see. Let's give it a go. If we die, we die. Yep, this goes to Hush. Hopefully we get some good items before we go to Hush. There's usually two rooms and four chests. We've got and an shop room. Okay, let's see. Daddy long legs. It spawns a spider's foot every now and then. As you can see, it will shadow over there. Once those enemies are going to come down and go down upon the enemies, that's not a bad item. It does some extra damage. Oh. I think this is poison bombs and that is Loki's horns. It makes you fire in a four, like a four-way cross. Ah, shit. Let's go for it. Give me a key. No, give me a key. Okay, so now we can't go into the item or the... Now we can't go into the shop because we don't have any keys and we can't open this chest. Nope. That sucks. Okay, we're going to activate this card. I think it's going to give us more damage and stuff. Once we go fight Hush, you go in here. And now we see what we can do. I'm going to be quiet for this fight. Yep, it increases our damage. Oh, Magnetic Tears is doing a job on him. And the little Harbinger as well. There's Daddy Longlegs. Magnetic Tears is doing an amazing job. I actually can't believe I underrated the item. Oy, 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 I wasn't looking. This is where the real fight starts. I've got to concentrate now. Come on, Daddy Long Legs, hit him. He spawns flies as well. And you can see he's gonna spawn these. Uh, he's gonna spawn these little guys out of his mouth now. Once he gets to a certain level of health. We're making quick work of these little flies though because of our damage. Magnetic tears doing an amazing job. Amazing. There yeah, these guys come. I'm gonna teach them a lesson. Once he starts firing these purple tears, man, it's going to get intense. Magnetic tears, underrated. Whoop! We are doing really well so far. Here comes the tough part. Dodging these, as you can see over there, dodging those tears are extremely difficult. I give him some bombs every now and then. We're gonna do it. So be careful. I'm gonna be careful of these things, and my movement speed is not good enough to dodge these things. And we did quite well, actually. He's almost dead. He's almost dead. I don't have any bombs left. We can't deal with any damage. Very long legs, playing some interesting plays over there. And these things come again. Move, 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 move. Fuck. Oh my god. This is where it gets stuck. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh, we're gonna get him, come on. And he's gone. Fortunately, we had enough health. And we unlocked an item called Purity. And we get a golden art. Okay, one of two choices. We can either go up and fight Isaac and... Question mark, question mark, question mark. We can down and fight, go down and fight Satan. Or we can try and take on Delirium, but I don't have, we don't have enough health for that. But like I said, if we die, we die. We're unlocked. As you can see there, we've unlocked Boss Rush, and below that, we've unlocked the, the Hush icon. This wasn't a bad run, but let's, let's take our chances. Let's go, let's go see if we can kill Delirium. 
I don't think we're gonna, but let's see. The movement speed is really not great. Very long legs playing a major role over there. These guys suck. Got to concentrate here. You got to kill the heart first. You can't do any damage to those faces or those masks until you kill the hearts first. And then, because we've got piercing shots, you can usually only kill these guys from behind. And because we've got piercing shots, we can shoot straight through them. We need some help. I don't know what. Room this is for, there's nothing to switch. Missing poster. I oh, know, faded Polaroid. Don't know what it does, to be honest. Let's have a look. In the void, where we're going to fight Delirium, you'll we'll see that we're going to fight a few bosses. These guys suck, they shoot homing spears at you. Um, you. You can fight a few bosses and you, they drop items. We haven't hit one yet. As you can see there's a lot of champion. I didn't see that guy. Uh, a lot of champion bosses. This is a big time play. Sometimes these guys give you an HP upgrade. If you give him enough money, HP upgrade, HP upgrade. Give me an HP upgrade, please. Give me an HP upgrade, please. Give me an HP upgrade, please. I don't know how many more of these. And an HP upgrade. Nice. Another, ooh, the Hierophant card. These gives you two soul arts. So obviously we're gonna activate it and we're gonna take the two soul arts. And we're gonna take this for the Delirium fight. The, that faded Polaroid's doing something to me. I don't know what it is, but it's making me uh, like invincible, invisible now and then. Probably have to read up on that. That was close, and we get, I don't know what that item does, to be honest. Gotta be careful with these guys that roll around. Magnetic Tears playing a huge role again. Blank card. So that, uh, that mimics your, your card that you have, um, I think that you are holding, again, I should read up more. Oh, that sucks. Oh, there we go. See if we can get some more items. Very long legs playing some big plays over there. Oh, the dirty mine thing I picked up. If you kill a poop, it spawns these little poops out of them. See, there comes another one. Barely had any center drops in this one. This can either be Delirium, or it could be another boss. Hopefully another boss, we can get another item. And it's very long legs, ironically enough. Be careful of him. Our oh, damage pulls us through. I, I unlocked this recently, damage. Mm, no. Ah, oh, wonderful. Because we picked up a golden heart and the golden heart burst, we got some money out of it. Which one sucks. Mm. 
think this is gonna be the delirium fight. Let's see. No. Soul art fly hive. I don't know if we're going to be able to kill this boss, man. I'm hoping we do, but let's see. Our movement speed's not good enough for this run. We should at least kill Delirium. These guys suck. This is probably, I don't know if it's going to be the Delirium fight or not, let's have a look. The lamb. Jeez, okay. I've never seen him appear in the void before. God. Okay, alright. It's going to kill our health. How the hell are we going to recover from that? But let's see. We'll take it easy. Take it easy. Take it easy. Die. Whew. Luck upgrade. Yay. That sucked. This is, has to be the delirium fight. And it is. Okay. Let's see what we can do. Magnetic tears. The MVP of this run. I don't know if we're going to be able to do this. Oh. 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 Golly gosh. Magnetic tears. And I've said it millions of times, this is an MVP. I don't feel we have enough help for this, honestly. Struggling. Oh god. Ow. Come on, we have to win this. Where's that heart? Ow. Three more hits and we're done. Ow. Can I get a heart, please? Can I get some health, please? Problem with this boss, he catches you off guard. Oh my god. Two hits and we're done. Collapse on health right now. Oh 
god. Survive, 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 survive. And we got him. We got him with one hit left. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <sighs> and there we just killed Hush and Delirium in one run. And we get a half heart. This helped. That item I picked up which uh, spawns poops helped. These things helped a lot. Man. What a run. I don't know why it doesn't unlock um, the delirium um, the delirium thing. Sorry, I can't talk now because that was intense. But anyway, um, we got him. Phew. Don't know if it's going to ask us for a victory lap. Don't want to spoil it, so we'll stop the video here. Oh, we did. We unlocked something in Eucharist. And let's just see if we got an achievement oh, you see we didn't get the delirium achievement or the, the, the unlock the delirium thingy on top of the poster but we got hush at least and i've only killed hush twice yeah once over there and once over there yeah all right i hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching